Hello and welcome to the Complete Retreat community server and today we're doing an interior decorating build video. Going to have lots and hints of tips coming up on this one because I've managed to convince Shizella to come in and decorate, well, me and Vex's base. Now this is a base that me and Vex have been working on probably for the last several months. I don't think I've shown off what's been going on in this cave but we're both pretty proud of what we've managed to do down here and it still is a work in progress. However, what we do need some help with is up the top here where we kind of log out. This is our little base of operations we've put up on the top here and it just needs, well, we're hoping to put some dioramas up and just, you know, them finishing touches. And if you watched any of the complete crew stuff, well, you might be familiar with Shizella and she's just one of these master builders and I'm hoping that she can come in and work her magic on this building we've got going on in the center here. Over the top there, there's my bridge and we've turned that into our breeding area. We keep all of the dinos up that end now for breeding and it just keeps down here nice and tidy. And uh, it all works really well, I really love it. But we need to do some work on our little log out area here. And as you can see, well, it needs lighting up. I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but it just needs some stuff on the walls. We wanna get some flags up and I wanna see what Shez can come up with on this little space here. Hopefully she can teach us all a few tips and tricks. So what should I grab? Grab three artifact pedestals, okay. three gravestones, two benches, and two chairs. So like this is a, a, a style that I use if I don't want to pull up flooring to make the arms. So this way is one that it's a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah, show me the easy one. Because I guess I've okay. got triangles down as well. That would be particularly difficult there. Yep, it would be. <laughs> All right, so basically you want to find about where you want your bench to be. And you're going to put your first bench down. Yeah. Okay. And then underneath, we're going to line up the artifact pedestals. And you may have to go into third person to get them to go back far enough. I have to hide my UI sometimes for it. But you basically want to try to get it so it's flush with the edge of the seat on the side. And on the bottom, the arched portion or the angled portion of the artifact pedestal is just under the bench. Okay, okay. I think I can see, yeah. So you're going to scooch a little bit and you're going to overlap the next one. Right. And then the third one, all you should have to do is line up on the side and that's going to overlap to try to give it a nice solid piece. Okay, I'll try I'll try and do that on my side. <laughs> Watch this mess. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. okay. So the bench belt here. Uh, Ah, uh, how do you tell where the line is for the top of it? That is really difficult. Um, it, it, is. <laughs> it really is. I can't see so where like, it goes down. Yeah, it, it's it's tricky. Um, hide the UI, okay. Yeah, if you hide the UI, it's a little easier to see. Like, you can get a little bit of that outline. Like, basically, if, like, kind of pull it out pretty far, and you you can get a little bit of the distinction of where that slope is, that angle is. Okay. And then just kind of walk it back until it feels right. Well, there. A, a lot of this is uh, <laughs> maybe a little. Oh bit my word! But also, like, we are going to be putting another bench on top. Um, so you can always just leave it like this, and we'll line that second bench up on top of it too, because we do have another bench to throw on. Hang on, that's a bit closer. That's a bit closer, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that looks right. Okay. Yeah, if you can line those up like that. Um, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's getting close. Uh, yours is like it's so straight. Mine's all wonky. Yeah, it's hard when um you have to like reset yourself with them. It. it it's really hard when you're not placing them one after another okay. to get the angle and turn exactly the way it was. There you go. That's okay. 
yeah. And that's another thing. Like if um, if your artifact pedestals end up when you get all three of them down and they're just like a little off kilter to your bench, you can always just pick your bench pick up. Pick the bench up, yeah. And readjust it. So like that that's perfectly okay too. So the next step over here. This this one is also can be a little fidgety. So we're gonna climb on top and look down. If you you can climb on top and look down next to me if you want. Like uh -huh. basically we wanna we wanna get that artifact pet or the gravestone placed so it's right up just again <laughs> just kind of at the back of where the the top layer of the pedestal is i suppose okay. and we want it to line up with the edge okay and it can be kind of tricky placing them because they want to jut and push each other push the next one to place outward so this is where i'll do the two and i have to be in third person to place the third because otherwise in first person it doesn't let me push it back far enough so that one i try to get so it's centered right about in between um be hard to get the angle so it actually looks like three couch cushions back there <laughs> get okay. this lined up between them you make it look so easy <laughs> and something like it used to drive me nuts getting that third piece in until i realized that if while it, it's a little fidgetier in third person like well, i can actually get it into place on the same like straight plane as the others it's hard because there is a couple of it, it, it kind of pulls towards the bench doesn't it a bit it does and it's odd how because it, like there's no snap point there for it to really need to be pulling toward this is closer to edit oh that's good And then this one's the trickier one to <laughs> like de definitely utilize that third person view because I, I found in first person like uh -huh. you can give it a try it doesn't want to go back far enough always it, if that makes sense yeah in first person <laughs> it's one of those things that being in k mode might help a little bit with how's that there you That's go right. huh? I got yeah it. i did it all right so we're gonna grab the bench and we're going to put that second bench. So I lined it up so... It's like if you're looking at the bench, there's like going from me to the to the wall. There's plank one, two, and three. So the way I line this bench up, typically, I line the second um, plank, the middle plank of the one that's already down with the first one of the one that I'm placing down. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't stick out the back, but it fills in the gap from the gravestone. Okay. And each one can be slightly different as well, like just, just with how things end up lining up. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay. So the Those. arms, the arms can be a little fidgety. Okay. And then we'll just kind of repeat over here. Can you, I suppose you can still sit on this as a bench, can you, of course? Yes. Okay. Got it. Hey. You did it. Nice. So the fun part that brings it all together is the painting on it. Yeah. And because of the, how things overlap, it can be a little bit tricky. Yeah, and that looks great. Liquor paint always brings things to life, doesn't it? 
It really does. Like, once you get the paint on there, it, it brings it together so it actually feels like a unit. Yeah. It's a little bit trickier than, uh, than, than it looks. It just takes a little bit of patience with lining everything up, doesn't it? It does. There you go. Once it's all painted in. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm surprised, you know, they've got bees in there and you could get wax. You'd think candle would be a nice, would have been a nice addition. I agree. Oh. Wow. Okay. I like that. So that's, <laughs> you put, ang I didn't even know you could put angle gel in and it did that. That's, that's, that's really cool. So I've gone and had the ceiling snap where it should not have. Okay. <laughs> this, this is fine. Yeah, so Angler Gel gives a... Why are the ceilings doing this to me? Yeah, it puts like a crystal on the top. Well, I, never, I never knew that. Yeah. So you could even just leave it like that and not even put... Um, what like, does it, it look like with the vessel? Because it. it might just poke out the top of the vessel. Like some people don't know. <laughs> so it doesn't poke out. It doesn't. No. Uh, doesn't. Doesn't quite look right, does it? Yeah. It's cool. I like it though. And it's it's something like I like the color that it puts off. It does give off um, a nice color. Yeah. We can throw around some more table decorations real quick. Yeah. Like we want to make it look like we're having like this is where you have meals. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just some more we can vessels. Smoke those around. Okay, so um what I'm gonna put up here are some Manticore shield skins. Okay. And like they, they are colorable, color customizable. So yeah. like you, you can always do that to make it a little more unique to you. But for now. I'm going to pop those on, and then I'm going to grab a mirror, and I'm going to line the mirror up. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> yeah, so I, I only recently discovered this trick with the mirror, and I really like it. I really, really like it, because, like, the trophy mount is fine, but it's got, it just... It's very, I guess we could call it rustic. <laughs> yeah. Um, when you put the mirror over it, it's got a very framed, complete look, I suppose. It looks great with the Manticore shield, doesn't it? So, and then what we can do, I, I didn't bring the colors in with me, but um, you could color the metal pieces of the mirror to like yellow to match the Manticore match. shield colors. Yeah. yeah. Um, or if you decide, like, if you want to repaint your shields, like, you can basically paint your shields and then paint the mirror behind it so they're all nice and matching. Yep. And that'll really bring it together in here. Yeah, so we've got, we've got a little bit of wall art to help tie it together, and then the chairs. Chairs. That was what I was forgetting. Okay, yeah. So we're also going to want to color the chairs to bring a little bit of cohesion into things. Yeah. So... I'm going to place this down, kind of try to center it a little bit. And a chair is just a chair, but it could be a throne, right? Uh, uh, yeah, so kinda, okay. we're going to take a, a wooden wall sign and I'm lining it up. Um, oh my goodness. I'm lining it up so the top is just over that back bar of the chair. And it is centered, like the the nail is kind of centered. Okay. And when you when you click it, you get the option to rotate it before you do the final placement. So I'm just gonna turn myself a little bit to the left here and rotate it, and pop that on and raise the back of the chair. But I'm also going to do that on uh, the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna line the bottom up with the seat of the chair and try to get the nail centered between the two planks on the bottom 
and then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to rotate to the left. So if you rotate to the right, it's a very sharp. I'll let you see the difference. So that's if you rotate it to the right. Okay. If you rotate it to the left, it's got the a cleaner, side. straighter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Side. Nice. And uh, these you can paint in a similar way to the couch, where you can make it look like it's cushioned. Paint okay. the back and seat of the chair um, one color, and then uh, paint the signs and the remaining portions of the chair a different color. Great. So it looks like you've got some kind of squishy thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, Chez has been really busy, and I couldn't be happier with how this spot has turned out. Now, she's gone and done a few things as well in the background for us. Just outside here, she's put down some window boxes, and we really do need to put some light down on the outside of this area of the cave, just a little bit more here, so we can see some of the details that we've put on the building itself. But when it comes to the inside, I mean, it looks great. The addition of the ambergris in the middle, just putting that blue light on everything. And she spread out some of our trophies. Just on this second floor here, she's put down like a diorama of everything from scorched earth. Again, just the addition of the mirror behind the trophies there. It looks great, I love it. So this is what we've got to run past every time I log into the server and yeah, it's just, it's all starting to come together. On the top floor here, we've got our Crystal Island or the Crystal Isles tributes. We've just finished that one off and that map is gonna get changed very soon. There's one more thing I needed to do on that map before we got rid of that, but I think the community have voted for the island map next on the rotation, but there's a shot of us all completing the Crystal Queen Wyvern. Just show you inside Vex's room here. Again, got a little sofa just from downstairs. She's got a little desk here. It all looks great, especially in this corner. Shez has done her a little vanity desk with a mirror, some pictures there. Little cat ready to pounce on her lap when she sits down. Nice little tree in the corner. It all looks great, but here's the really, really cool touch. I mean, I get, not only do I get a huge wardrobe, but I've got a four poster bed. I mean, I love it. It looks great. I mean, I'd have never thought to do that. I've also got a little desk I can come and sit at, work on my YouTube videos just here, come up with some ideas. And just in the corner, as a little special treat. She's given me Spot, <laughs> which is a, a diorama of a little bulldog. I love it. It's something to wake up to. It's these little finishing touches that really add to any build. And it's certainly inspired me to try a bit harder with all of this stuff and I thought there were some great tips that Shez managed to share with us so thank you very much for helping me out with that one Shez hope you enjoyed that one and until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.